That's the thing people wouldn't understand. This coming out thing. Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli is sweet and funny and awkward um, and sad. Okay, so this book is about Simon. Simon is looking on the internet one day at Tumblr and there is a post on a Tumblr of his school, which is like a gossip forum, a post about a guy who says that he is struggling with his sexuality um, and he's just saying that he, you know, he's struggling, he feels very alone and Simon reaches out to this guy, gives him his email and is just like, hey, I totally get what you're going through. Throughout the book you see their email interactions with each other and how they are helping each other with their personal struggles and experiences at that given time. All the time during their emails they're constantly hiding the personal details that could let the other person guess who they are at school. And I really enjoyed the kind of mysterious element as to who Blue was. I was like, could be that person, it could probably be that person, and well that person, I think it's probably that person. And I got it wrong every time. Beginning of the book, the emails fall into the um, wrong hands of a boy called Martin who basically wants Simon to hook him up with a girl that he is friends with. And he is threatening to expose Simon and to expose Blue. And that's where all of the drama kind of kicks in within the book. It kind of all exists in the background and through the medium of the school play. I adored this book. It was so easy to read. I flew through it. And like I said, it had these um, supporting characters that were really rich in and of themselves, which is something I really like. But I loved Simon. Simon was definitely the star of the show for me. I really loved reading from his point of view. I thought he was hilarious. He really thought and spoke like a teenage boy, which is something I really love. It makes it so much more believable, it makes it so much more realistic, and makes you feel like you're reading about a real person. I love that. I love that about this book. Underlying great narrative, which was spunky and funny and just quirky and that was the main reason I loved this book, as well as an incredible storyline that obviously has some very important um, topics within it. It is tackled in such a way that it is just addictive and enjoyable and you just want to know who Blue is. This book reminded me of two other books that I really enjoyed. The first was Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. If you really enjoyed the budding, kind of exciting romance that flurried between Eleanor and Park in that book, then I think you will definitely enjoy the interactions that Simon has with this mysterious guy in this book. The other novel it reminded me of was Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leatherthorn. I read that book last year and really, really loved it. So I'd say if you enjoyed anything from any of those authors, then you would definitely enjoy this one too. It's my happy book. Book. If I'm ever feeling sad, I know that I'll be able to turn to this book and it will improve whatever badness is happening in my life. There's a lot going on in this book that I have to praise and I highly recommend it.